Welcome to Tennis Spit, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, look what just came in the mail for me. A secret box, all the way from Frankfurt in Deutschland. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna crack that open. All right, a uh, mystery box from a fan, Michael. I In America, we would say grief, uh, but I'm guessing in Deutschland, which is Germany, I believe, it's M Michael Greff. Uh, sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, Michael Greff, or Miguel Greff, whatever. Michael Greff, anyways. All right. Michael, thank you for the box. Let's see what we got. Oh, ah, ha, ha. ah. we got some Benedictiner, Benedict, Benedictiner hell. Wow, Benedictiner hell, Benedictiner hell. Wow, that's some cool looking uh, logger here. Woo. Can't wait to try that. Check it out. I guess I got to share that with uh, Goo and Chris there, since there's three of them there. Got some MSV Focus Hex. And Focus Hex Ultra. And then... And then we got, this is a string from my reel, MSV Focus Hex, 12 meters, our best seller. Oh, this is from MSV, there's that. And then we got, the last thing in here is Ballisto. I don't know what that is, but I'll keep that there. Okay. And the last thing is, we got a letter. Okay. Hello, Harry. Here is Michael from Germany. Today, I put my spin on your tennis. I play, I play since five years tennis. I love the game. Last year, I bought a stringer machine, but... I got no idea how to string a racket, but I found you and your channel. Now I know how to string a racket and a lot of stuff around tennis products. Now enjoy every day your channel. You are the best. Thanks, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Therefore, I send you a package with strings and more. The black one I play with now, which is this one, I guess. Um, I will test after winter and lockdown. Now, so try them out with Coach Chris and Goo. Maybe you, maybe you hybrid the strings, um, whatever, and have fun. After testing, hang out with the guys and enjoy my beer. Uh, important. Best taste get after cooling down to 8 degrees Celsius, around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Last thing, the last thing in the package is a little spray, which is that. It's, it's a little bit freaky, but that's my crazy idea in crazy times. How can I maximize the spin by the cheapest way from my strings? First idea was WD-40. I was trying out, but it wasn't a good idea because it's based on oil. So it's oil-based. That means it removes the elasticity from every kind of plastic. So it, so the strings get brittle. But the solution is this stuff. Bolis, Bolistol Universal Oil Spray. It's based no, so that's like WD-40. It looks like one of those WD-40 cans. It's based on nature, 
100% eco, skin friendly. You can even eat it. Whoa. So no problems with strings and rackets. Play at first a couple of balls, then spray on the strings. Make an experiment with Goo and Chris and tell them to what you think or feel, hear or see. Is there any difference? When I played with the spray, I had the feeling that I had more spin and that I would clearly hear snap back. Finally, I have two more questions for you. Um, I got a Gamma Progression 600 FC Pro. Can you tell me how to get more most constant string job? What should I pay attention to? Okay, that's an easy one. Um, I play with the Babolat Pure Arrow 300 grams, like it, like it more head heavier. So I put some lead, but I'm not sure where I should put on 12 o'clock, three, three o'clock or nine o'clock, uh, two. Or could you recommend me a new racket? Uh, my profile is 36 years old, athletic, no problems with elbow. I play three times a week. I play with spin and control and try to dominate the game okay harry that's all enjoy the strings the experiment and of course the beer okay michael thank you for the stuff i will do an experiment with these strings and your lubrication and i can quickly answer your questions right now so with your babylon pure arrow um try the three and the nine let's say about four inches on each side if that's not heavy enough for you with the lead add another four inches at the top okay that should give you um, more weight at the head um, that'll be more plow through for you on that arrow uh, as far as stringing is concerned um, watch one of my stringing videos um, to make it more consistent make sure when you clamp each string that you clamp it as close to the grommets as possible, both main and the cross. I know that sometimes the um, grommets get in the way and the strings are super tight together and you can't get the chimes in close, but get it in as close as you can, as close as possible, okay? That will give you a more consistent string job, okay? So I'm gonna take the strings out and cool down that beer and then go out with coach chris and and coach goo and uh try out the lube all right see ya So overall, um, the spray, when you ply it on, it actually kind of holds the ball. It does cover the ball more, I felt like, but it doesn't last that long. So probably about like a few 
say like five, max five minutes, it'll start to wear off and it will it'll go back to its normal strings. Um, it does cover the ball. I was generally surprised. I felt like I was swinging more through the ball when it was applied on. And then afterwards, when you started to do, like, when it started to wear off, that's when everything feels weird again and then it goes back to normal. Um, but overall, I mean, I was generally surprised because, yeah, like I said, I was swinging through and that ball just got, just dipped more, which was interesting. So overall, an interesting experience. That's interesting. All right, Coach Chris, what do you think of that? Um, I was skeptical at first. Like, why would you spray it down? The only other spray I would know to spray a racket would be to stencil something. Uh, yeah. So after stencil, after spraying it on there, I just felt like after a few shots, it, it I can see that it was pocketing quite well, but afterwards it lost pretty quickly, um, and. Uh, uh, I think you would have to constantly apply it if you wanted to be able to have something that's worthwhile to, to, for you to, when you're impacting the ball, to have it um, come off the strings a little bit more. But other than that, it's a really yeah, interesting experience to put some pan-like substance on your strings. So, so I put the, the thickest one heat that my man gave me, the MSV, I think it was a 16L string in here. Um, and we loved it before and after, you know, the loop job. So, um, you know, it, it was great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for sharing the idea with us. Um, we actually enjoyed it. If you guys want to um, try what we just tried, you know, go get a can of Pam uh, at your local supermarket and uh, give it a shot. I think you'll get a lot more spin out of it. Um, the only downside is that your hands will be a little slippery because the ball yeah. becomes a little you know, absorbs that lube greasy. in your hand and greasy and, um, you know, your hands get a little slippery on the one you're holding the ball with. All right, Coach Chris, would you take this theory if it was legal? I don't think this is legal, but um, if it was legal, would you actually do this? Uh, why not? Okay. I don't really know much about, you know, applying stuff to the string bed itself to say with confidence that I would use it. What are you doing? Got it. No, I'm just <laughs> taking the lube off my racket because I see it's shiny right now. What are you doing, man? I'm taking the lube off. Yeah, you what do, do, do I do it? I wouldn't, I would need to research a little bit more to get under, to understand like, you know, the value of applying something like that onto the string. So. Got it. No, un understood. We have to also figure out if it's legal to do this either. Um, would you apply this? On a daily basis? Uh, I prefer not to. Um, it's just for me, I'd rather just play with my regular strings overall. Um, I mean, it was, a, it was a fun, interesting. What are you doing? What Stop are you doing? Smoking. Keep talking. It's okay. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's an interesting experiment, but would I do this on a daily basis? Not really. Um, I feel like I'm going to feel, you know, just for me personally, I just feel really awkward because I'm so used to playing with looser strings and getting used to it. And then also you spray it on and you're like, it's, it feels better, but only feels better for those like short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just goes back to normal. So, I mean, if I, would I prefer it? Not really in my personal taste. Right, but, you, but we all kind of agree that um, it did provide a pretty good, a pretty good yet interesting feel for the first, let's say five, 10 minutes, let's say even. Yeah. So it did allow for the strings snap. to snap more, to move and snap more freely. So in that case, it does work. Um, I, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually legal because it is a foreign substance on here. Uh, I mean, you could do it in the locker room and nobody will know, uh, my guess, but I don't know in like regular league play if it really matters that much. You could probably do whatever you want and ain't nobody gonna know. They probably think you're weird. So, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, uh, try it guys, it's, it's fun. It was really fun to do this. All right guys, so I um, wanna thank my man Coach Goo for hanging out with me today and uh, you know checking out this experiment. Uh, where can we find you Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, I want to also thank my man, Coach Chris.
Where can we find you, Chris? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. All right. Um, as you know, and as you guys have been asking, where has Coach Gu been? Coach Gu has been with the team. Remember, yep. he's the coach of USF Dons. Okay, so he's done now. Uh, we're going to talk to Coach Gu on another video about how a season went. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hell's Logger Buyer. Wow, this is interesting. All right, guys. Let's go. All right. Cheers, Michael. Cheers. cheers. Bring it in. No cheers to me, fool. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? You. Cheers. 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 cheers.